In this section of the demo, we'll be showing you several SaaS use cases relating to testing the security of cloud native applications. There will be four main parts. We'll start by looking at container security. Then we'll go to cloud native apps using cloud SDKs as well as uh, function as a service models. Then we'll go to infrastructure as code scanning. And finally, we'll look at secret scanning. There are many ways to start Fortify SaaS scans uh, and consume the results. In this case, we'll be running one scan from the command line and other than that, we'll be using pre-recorded results for efficiency. And we'll be looking at the results in our audit workbench uh, graphical tool. So let's start with container scanning. Our vision in general is to treat container scanning as source code scanning. So looking at the files used to create container images and deploy and run them. Uh, and just treat it as any other piece of code. So here we have a Docker file and several Kubernetes Yammer files. Let's uh, scan them using the source uh, analyzer command. Now we can have a look at the results. There are seven results uh, in total. Three are related to the Docker file. We see that this is running as user root. We see that it, it's exposing a privileged port. Uh, and we see that potentially sensitive information from the host is copied into the image. On the Kubernetes level, we have findings related to the Kubernetes uh, infrastructure. So in this case, the kubelet configuration allowing anonymous authentication. Uh, and we also have more application specific findings. So in this case, an application pod uh, gets the sysadmin capability in its security context, which is uh, undesirable for a regular application. Uh, issues that we've seen so far all focus on general good practices. Um, there is also a space of more organization specific examples. For instance, uh, an organization may decide to uh, limit the base images that can be used to create custom Docker images. Uh, there is a general consensus that this is a wise thing to do, but there is no consensus as to which base images are considered to be secure. That's organization specific. In this case, we see how an organization could create a custom Docker rule uh, that allows uh, this golden and these build directories to be used for base images, but nothing else. So that's how customers can still enforce these organization specific things. Uh, before leaving this topic of container uh, scanning, final note is that while our primary vision is that we should do source code scanning, we do in fact also support image uh, scanning uh, through integration, uh, integrations with third parties like Glare. Fortify supports uh, scanning of cloud native applications that leverage cloud SDKs and may or may not be implemented as serverless functions, so called Lambda on AWS or just functions on Azure and GCP. Let's have a look at a few examples. So here we have an example of an AWS uh, Lambda. There are many vulnerabilities in it. Uh, it uses the S3 uh, API for blob storage. Uh, in the S3 API, you use keys to identify objects, which are effectively like paths uh, in more uh, traditional web applications. And in this case, the path is influenceable uh, by an attacker. So there's a path manipulation attack, which is something that Fortify flags through data flow analysis and its knowledge of these APIs. We see an example of a privacy violation because we've spotted an AWS credentials object, the secret key is being sent to the logger. Uh, and we see, for instance, here that DynamoDB uh, is being used. Uh, we get a table description from DynamoDB, which is then printed to system out, which is an example of a system information leak. Um, let's also look at some Azure examples. So here we have uh, an Azure uh, function um, and uh, elements of the request are being sent here to uh, a command prompt. So uh, causing a command execution vulnerability. We also have cases here where sensitive information is being sent to the logs, which is also something that Fortify flags. We support these types of use cases across all three major cloud providers and across multiple languages. 
primary language priorities are Java and Python, uh, with C Sharp specifically for Azure. Uh, it is important to note that these SDKs are too big for any vendor to cover completely. Our priorities is to are to focus on those things that are specifically popular as APIs, such as S3 or Dynamo, uh, and also look at cross-cutting concerns like IAM because they influence the security of many of these services. Moving on to the infrastructure as code space. We support this as of now by scanning JSON and YAML files. As a roadmap item, we also want to support Terraform HCL and Microsoft BICEP. We have a generic analyzer for JSON and YAML and support for individual IAC platforms takes the form of rule content that we ship and that benefits from these analyzers. Right now, we have this rule content for AWS CloudFormation, for your resource manager templates, as well as for Ansible playbooks. We've already looked at Kubernetes previously that leverages this, leverages this same engine. Uh, let's have a look at some results. Here we see um, that we've flagged uh, uh, an insecure access to RDP in this case, because the entire world on the internet gets access uh, to that RDP port. We flag this here uh, in AWS CloudFormation, but we can flag a similar thing in an Ansible playbook. We see uh, missing Redshift encryption. And on the Azure level, we see, for instance, that blob storage here is created uh, without disabling uh, public access, which is a clear security risk. Uh, finally, in this cloud-related block, let's look at secret scanning. Uh, the problem of hard-coded secrets is not exclusive to cloud, but it is particularly relevant there because of the use of infrastructure as code, as well as because of the fact that many cloud-related secrets actually do have fixed patterns or new ways of finding them. In 21.2, we have created this new uh, regex analyzer algorithm uh, that allows Fortify to find uh, hard-coded secrets by matching regexes both at file content and uh, on file names. Uh, let's uh, look at some typical examples of this. So here we see that the code that was scanned contained a file key.pem, which by itself is suspicious, but could also be a public key. However, in this case, we found by looking at the file content that it contains a private key, and this is being flagged. Uh, also, here is another example. We see in this uh, EC2 uh, creating script uh, that um, AWS credentials have been hard-coded, and we can detect that simply by looking at the pattern uh, of, this, uh, of this key. Um, this is very valuable to find cloud-related hard-coded secrets, but we also use this analyzer for entirely different purposes, such as for detecting uh, the new Trojan source style vulnerabilities.